Hey guys, what's up? This is going to be my video showing you how to configure your weather widget on any of your devices. Now, these weather widgets do come with many themes, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to do so. Now, the requirements in order to do this is iFile and also to have a theme downloaded from Cydia. Now, in this video, I'll be uh, using the Noki HD theme as the example. Now, what you'll do is open up iFile right there now the weather widget that I will be editing is this weather widget right here that is animating now this is a very simple process and what you'll do in order to do this is open up iFile right there Now, once you open up iFile, it will load, and then you'll make it go back all the way to the first backslash. And then you will op use the var. Then you'll go to var. Stash. Themes. And then you'll select the no key. And then you will select the Noki Weather Springboard Widget. And then after that, you'll tap on the Weather Widget and then go into User Config.js. Now, once you do that, you once you do that, you'll see that it does say Var Locale right there. Now, once you see Var Locale right there, you'll tap on Edit up here. And then you will tap where var locale is. And then you'll go to the website in the description in order to get the weather widget for your city. Now sometimes weather widgets can include a zip code which is very simple to do and then all and all you'll have to do is enter in your zip code and then some other ones you might have to do this for example and some you might have to uh, type in your Yahoo weather ID code now to do that what you'll do is just go to weather yahoo.com and then type in your city and at the top it will give a number at the, on the URL address bar and it'll show and then that is what you'll type into the uh, config user config weather widget. Now that is all you'll need to do in order to do this. Now this is very simple to do and that is how you edit all of the weather widgets. Now once you have edited that weather widget right there, what you'll do is just press save and then done. And then all you have to do is respring your device and it will apply the changes. So thank you for watching this video. Please be sure to subscribe. Please like this video. And, and also follow me on Twitter for the latest updates. Thanks for watching.